there. Welcome to my cha 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 channel. So I know my do food reviews in the car if you're new to my channel, but it's hot. I live in Texas, so I'm doing them in the, inside the house. There's a Dr. Prager's Purely Sensible Foods. It's kids, gluten free and soy free chocolate littles instead of chicken littles. It's a sweet treat. Shh. Hidden black beans and veggies. These fun fun shaped bites are sure to become a family favorite. So there's three methods that you can cook them. You can microwave them, which I did like two days ago, and I don't recommend that. The skip and the oven slash toaster oven. What I did was, is I did stick them in the microwave, but not for a whole minute and flipped it for 30 seconds. I only put them in the microwave for about maybe 20 seconds just to let them thaw off, but not to get rubbery or let the microwave like really affect the texture which a microwave can easily do to food again i didn't even completely thaw it off just a lightly so because they were frozen solid i keep my freezer freezing okay i took two and put them like it recommended on a skillet and the other two instead of in the oven or toaster oven i stick it on <laughs> stuck it i stuck it in the air fryer at 400 degrees how long i put it in i don't know and it's browned but they're already brown and this is what they look like in the package one of those packages the plastic is like so like if you tear it it could easily continue to tear um so just be careful with that and then they'll fall out everywhere it's one of those plastics should I tell you, I'll tell you the ingredients after I taste it. There's a lot of whole base ingredients. You know, I'll just tell you. It's cooked black beans, whole grain oats, quinoa. So I'm not crazy about quinoa. Zucchini puree, apples, chocolate chips, which is sugar, unsweetened chocolate cocoa butter, date syrup, date, citric acid, expeller pressed canola oil. That's good. I've said it before, though, with Dr. Prager's, they use expeller pressed. That is really good. Sweet potato puree, which is butternut squash, puree, black bean flour, spinach, oat flour, cocoa powder, arrowroot powder, and milled chia. I guess that really, help, really helps it hold together. And then sea salt. Not the other stuff that wouldn't, but it does hold together. Again, the other day I microwaved it. I cooked it in the microwave. I don't, don't even do that. So, what should we try first? The skillet or the air fryer? Let me tell you, I already started to eat it. A second ago but my video stopped so yeah so this is the skillet you can see the black beans and fibrous fibrous material from the other veggies it's rather bouncy I haven't had kids food toddler food whatever in a long time but it reminds me the way it is and how a little toddler hands like I can just see a toddler eating this on that note I don't like baby food or toddler food food and I'm not crazy about this it doesn't have a bad taste and it's not overly sweet when we bought into the chocolate chips that's where the sweetness comes in and it's like there's a delight it's very dense but when you pick it up and smush it I is gonna sound crazy I'm not saying it tastes like a chicken nugget okay I'm not saying that, but there is something about the taste that reminds me of a breading that you would have on a chicken nugget that the breading is like really small. It's not coarse. I know this is going to sound crazy. And um, like I've had, I've had the kids lean cuisine. I think it was chicken tenders and it had the brownie. The smell of the chicken tenders and the smell of that brownie and that and cuisine, the kid, it was a kid's meal. And yes, this was a long time ago when I ate this. 
um, but it had a brownie and chicken tenders. The smell of a brownie with the chicken tenders reminds me of this taste. A lot. Like it tastes like I just ate a bunch of chicken tenders and now I'm trying to eat. It doesn't taste bad though. I would say it tastes healthy, but it, there's a bunch of quinoa. It tastes more like it's for a kid. That's not very sweet. I don't taste the black beans extremely strong, but texture-wise, I didn't seem like it would be better if they would just chop up, mix up the beans better. Because it has this weird, like, bean with sweetness. It's not too bad, but, like, it almost tastes like someone took some beans. Like, if I had a, just a cup of beans, black beans and put some chocolate syrup over it and mushed it up but not fully and then have you eat it. It doesn't taste that bad, but it's kind of getting there. I do taste, I want to say the word, but I can't think of it. Not zucchini, I wasn't going to say that. Sweet potato puree. I do taste the sweet potato puree. So that was the, um, the skillet one. Now we're going to try. Now the skillet one, I don't know if you can see. Um... For some reason, the skillet one, the color changed. This is the air fryer. I'm definitely drier. Mm. No. Do not put it in the air fryer. You know, on the oven it says... 450 degrees, which is pretty hot, but only for six minutes. But by the time... I'm actually going to dig in the air fryer now. The outside, I wasn't crazy about the dryness, but it cooked more. Instead of it being like a brownie... Hmm... These are growing on me. But what I was saying is, is I did it a few seconds in the microwave and on the skillet. It doesn't take long to warm up a skillet. And I just kept flipping it for just a few minutes. If you do the oven method, you're looking at preheating it for 450 minutes. That's going to take a while. Especially in the summertime, you don't want to heat up your house. And then you have to bake them for six minutes. You can do that. Let me know how it turns out. Oh, and then you got to flip it and bake it another five minutes. So that's 11 minutes at 450. I don't know. I think that would probably dry it out. My recommendation. Let me taste the skillet one again. The skillet one is definitely more moist. I'm not crazy about the texture inside, though. It almost seems like it's not cooked. Yeah, um, it's pretty dense. I got a funny feeling I'm going to poop a lot with this. I'm like, I have a funny feeling it is full of fiber. And so four littles, 11 grams of fat, cholesterol zero, sodium, only 105, only 4% sodium. Where is the fiber? Wow. Four littles is 30% of your fiber. So if you just eat four of these, you're already getting 30% of the fiber that you need all day long. And if you eat eight of them, that's more than half your fiber. Why I get them again? I'm digging the air fryer method better. I don't know. I like the fact that they're vegan, though. And the fact that I'm eating whole plant ingredients. And it's not overly sweet. But I get a treat when I buy into the chocolate chip cookie. And the chocolate chip cookie is vegan. Most chocolate chip cookies on the market are not vegan. It's 
the air fryer is growing on me. But it doesn't taste like a sweet treat. Like a sinful, tr sinful, like sweet treat with a lot of calories. Excellent source of fiber. Yeah, I'm gonna be pooping a lot. Hmm. This is a hard one. I do like Dr. Prager's products overall in general. Um. Hmm. Just be prepared to eat some fibrous, beany, not so sweet, chocolate. I don't want to say treat. More like. I'm not saying diet food either, but it's. It's more closer to diet food, but um, would a kid like it? You know, I, I think it really depends on the kid. If the kid, if it's a young kid, they probably won't notice the difference, especially a kid that likes their veggies. But if it's a spoiled kid that doesn't eat veggies, that um, likes really sweet stuff, especially if they like the texture of like a muffin type thing that is gluten. But you know, the fact that this is gluten free what am I going to give this? I'm not going to give this a score. You heard it here loud and clear. I'm just telling you what I to told you. Um, but would I get it again? They were a little bit expensive. I think I paid almost seven, six or seven dollars for this box. Um, I would maybe get it every once in a blue moon, but I would probably maybe buy this once a year. If that tells you anything. But it depends. Like, if I wanted something sweet and chocolatey, but I didn't want a lot of sugar and I needed some fiber, you know, it would be nice to just have these in the freezer. But I'm like, I'm thinking if I took some beans and some oatmeal and some squash, like, I just picture, like, this taste, it does taste processed a certain way, but it also tastes like someone made this. I don't want to say homemade, but it's very rustic tasting, if that tells you anything. Because you see the whole plants in there and they're not very well blended or not very well um, processed. But the extrusion, extrusion, I can't even say it, of a nugget, yeah, it definitely has that feeling like I'm not eating, like I'm eating a nugget. It's highly processed, but then when you eat it, it tastes rustic in the inside. But I can't get over that the taste reminds me of the smell of Lean Cuisine chicken tenders and a brownie. Like the taste of it reminds me of the smell of that. Not just the brownie, the chicken tenders too. There's just something about it. Like it literally tastes like I just ate chicken tenders and have that aftertaste in my mouth of like a, a cheap chicken tender though. And then I'm eating a brownie right after. Or maybe like I'm eating a brownie and someone took a piece of chicken and threw it in there <laughs> with lots of fiber. So that's my review. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what other foods you want me to try. And when you do subscribe, don't forget hit to hit the bell icon. That way alert you when I come out with new content. And it's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And I'm always honest and blunt. Yes, my videos are long. I'm working on that. But you know what? I would have long videos that are detailed than quick videos. And you don't know all the gist of exactly what's going on with the food. On that note, though, my videos are too long and I'm working on that. Until next time, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.